did one on Saturday, did one the previous Sunday. His exit velo went up seven just by watching your video. Um, he went to 91. He was at 84 uh, six days ago. Our next tip is to cover ground with your stride to increase the weight shift and your body's momentum. If you think about this, pitching off a mound with no running approach versus a full sprint followed by throwing, which would you expect to throw faster with? Of course, the approach, right? And in a small way, getting momentum on the exit velocity test is no different. You can be at a total standstill and have no approach, or you can set up a little bit further behind the tee like we already talked about and allow yourself, whether or not you use a leg kick or not, to have your body go forward and your center of gravity actually shift forward throughout your stride. What that will do is it will allow everything else that comes after it, that back hip rotating, the top half spinning and unwinding through, the arms getting through the baseball, all of those things will happen faster and more explosively if you precede it by getting some forward weight shift with your body on your stride. Give it a try. It's usually a game changer for improving exit velocity.